All right, I have a video today about how to get yourself started or going um, in the direction of recovery. How to like stop eating disorder behaviors or how to um, start recovery actions. Um, oftentimes when you're at the beginning of recovery and you're like, okay, I wanna do this, I wanna recover you think, okay, what do I have to do? I have to eat unrestrictedly. I can't exercise or do any lower level movement. And I gotta stop all my compulsive um, behaviors. It can feel overwhelming, right? Which is, is inevitable that it's going to. It's a lot to ask of someone who has a tremendous fear of gaining weight. And there's a lot of different approaches to recovery, and I always talk about be bold, be bold, be bold, be bold, which is awesome in theory, but if someone is talking and thinking and dreaming about being bold but not doing anything from day to day to day, they're just kind of doing the same thing and they're having a hard time jumping in, um, what I'll suggest to my clients is how about we test, an ex how about we just run an experiment? How about we run a test? And for the next week, I want you to do your absolute very best at cutting out all restriction. So you become a detective for yourself in detecting any form of restriction whatsoever. And I don't know, make a game out of it. Every time that you catch yourself restricting <clears throat> and you decide you're going to eat something instead of just going along with the idea of restriction, give yourself a point. Tally up your points at the end of the day. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and you become this detective of restriction. And, and I think for people, it's like, I, that feels, the thought of that is so overwhelming and I've tried doing it for a day or two and it is so mentally draining. I just can't imagine having to do this for like a year or however long it's going to take me to recover. Um, and same thing with, okay, let's not exercise. When you hear the recommendation of like, let's give it a solid year, maybe more with like completely withholding any, uh, exercise that can feel very daunting and someone be like, I just can't stop because I can't wrap my head around that. So these are some examples. So in this situation where I've seen a client, you know, a few times now and they're having a hard time committing to these things, I'll say, let's run an experiment for a week. Give me a week. Give me a week of like you truly committing to doing your absolute best. And only you know your best. Your absolute best at cutting out all restriction and your absolute best at absolute minimal movement. Like I'm talking to go to the bathroom, to take a shower, you have to go grocery shopping, um, you know, um, taking a car versus walking, take the car, parking in the closest parking spot, not the furthest, all those little things that will creep in when someone starts to take away, or um, um, what's the word, um, eliminate exercise. Then all these other weird, creepy things pop up that they justify, but that's still lower level movement. So if you give yourself a week and you're like, okay, in a week I'm gonna reassess. Oftentimes what happens, almost always, which is really cool, is that person that's done this, that was brave enough to tackle this for a week, realizes, I live to tell about it. I did notice a little, like a lot of anxiety for sure, but I noticed a little difference in my thoughts. I noticed that I, had the eating disorder thoughts, definitely, but I realized and what I learned about myself this last week is I can actually say no to those. Those don't have to control me because I've done this now for the last week. I actually did that. What if I just did another week? I'm going to try another week. I think I can do it. And you take it that way. So I feel like if you can approach it, if you're struggling with just like, you know, you're waking up one morning being like 100% I'm all in, I'm not looking back and I'm doing this and you can do it and you jump in. Awesome. But... Sometimes that doesn't happen. Sometimes it's, I need to take this out a week at a time that I'm going to be 100%. I'm not saying go like 70% at the beginning. Go 100% and give it your all for that week. And then let's talk and reevaluate. Um, so that's just some a tool I use um, with clients that I've found to be really helpful. And to it's really fun to watch because I see their confidence kind of soar and their ability to be able to recover. If you can do something for a week... And you can do it for another week and you can do it for another week and you've got some momentum and you're rolling through and you're making great progress, then that's when the rewiring starts happening. That's when things start changing. 
And it doesn't have to be this, like, I'm going to decide to do this, and for the rest of my life, this is it. This is my destiny. This is my future of never moving again and just sitting at home all day long and stuffing my face with every, every food thought I have. I just can't imagine doing this. There's no way I'm just not even going to try. So give it a shot. Let me know um, your thoughts on this or if you've done this before or if you do do it before. I'd love to hear um, how it went for you. So with that, have a fantastic day. Bye.